Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another entry in the What's in the Mail segment. Um, I haven't done these in this one in a while, so I got a nice stack here in front of me. Uh, I got an Amazon order, I got a Groove order, um, some things from Terror Vision, eBay, and uh, a couple other a uh, couple other places. I'll get to them when I get to them. So I'm gonna start with Amazon first. I only got one. They had a really good deal on this. Now I had trouble with the mail, um, but we figured it out. So I had two copies of this. Amazon wants one back, so I have to ship it out. So I'm keeping the one that has the better slip box and then the other the other one does. So I went ahead and up upgraded my Batman series to 4K. 4K Blu-ray. No no digitals in this for some reason. I don't know why, but you get the original Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and everybody's favorite, Batman and Robin. Can't wait to watch that in each in uh, 4K. <laughs> so we have the Batman box set. Uh, Groove was having a really cool deal on Steelbooks and Blu-rays and 4Ks. I got five titles here in front of me. So I took advantage of the buy three Blu-rays for $15.99. So that's $5.33 each picked up. Of course, I picked this up and then, um, of course, it's getting a 4K. So it's, it's whatever. <clears throat> so we have sneakers on Blu-ray. Um, I don't think I've ever actually seen this film before. I might, I don't know. It's been, it's been a while since I've probably since I've seen this so I will definitely check this out again or for the first time really good cast on that one um, really funny film here um, I don't think I might have the DVD I'm not 100% sure but this is a really funny film this is The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd and John Candy um, it was written by John Hughes it's not he didn't direct it though it was directed by Howard Duch really really funny movie really enjoyed that one <clears throat> and then this one i remember seeing when it came out back in the day uh it probably doesn't hold up until now but we'll see anyway this is a frank oz film from 1999 and that is bowfinger i do enjoy the cast in here i just don't remember if i actually remember liking the actual movie itself uh heather graham is also in this terrence stamp so there we go and then they were having these really cool deals on 4K Steelbooks, so I got two upgrades. Um, first one, you know, a lot of people didn't like this film, um, but, you know, M. Night Shyamalan, is, his movies are hit or miss, especially with me, but we got the old 4K Steelbook. Uh, it says Best Buy exclusive, but you can buy it online now, $14.99. And then this one I really wanted, and I missed out when it came out first time glad they had it back in stock this is the howard the duck 4k steelbook it's all embossed and everything really cool definitely needed to upgrade my blu-ray on that one so that's it for groove um got a few quote unquote custom made uh blu-rays some of them never I got physical releases. This one is from the company that shall not be named. Uh, this is a Netflix original film, I guess. Uh, I watched it the other night. It was very weird. Um, it's two hours and 14 minutes. Uh, this has uh, Jesse Plemons, Tony Collette, Jesse Buckley, and David Thewlis in it. And it's, I'm thinking of ending things. Really weird movie about um, this young woman played by Jesse Blake Buckley. She takes a road trip with her new boyfriend to his family's farm and it's like she's stuck in a weird loop or something. I don't, it was just really weird but I definitely wanted to add it to my collection so there we go. Uh, movies are USA.net um, they have, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on their newsletter and they always send coupons of, you know, say 55% this week and yada, yada, yada. So, um, I know I'm not totally familiar with the company and their quality, but I bought them from them once before. So I wanted to get, I wanted to get this in my collection. 
The artwork's not the best, but for what the price I paid for it, it it's fine. I don't really, you know, it's fine. Um, but I want to get like a slimmer case because the artwork is like not big enough for this box the, the way they have it in this thing. So I, went, I got the Buffy the Vampire Slayer complete collection. Like I said, the, I don't like the artwork on this, but I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know how, how great it is. I'm sure it's fine. So really, I really enjoyed that show when I when it was on the air back in the day. And then I got two two movies, or actually technically eight movies on on two discs. This is from Sloppy Second Sales. Uh, we have the, it's not the complete uh, collection of this director, Greg Araki, I guess I say his name, but we have volume one and volume two. So we have uh, volume one, which has um, three bewildered people in the night, the living end, totally effed up, and the doom generation. Now the Doom Generation is getting a Blu-ray after the fact I bought this. That's fine. The other three I don't think have Blu-rays, at least here in the United States. So, really cool there. And then we have Volume 2, which one of these has a Blu-ray. The other three do not, if I'm not mistaken. So we have Nowhere, Splendor, Mysterious Skin has a Blu-ray, and then Smiley Face. Smiley Face, the DVD is so out of print. I don't, I can't find it anywhere. I used to find it like here and there, but I can't find it anymore. So, really cool to finally get to watch that. This one was really cool. This was a, um, a Etsy find, an Etsy find. Um, it's not a real criterion, although I do think that the artwork's pretty awesome on this. So, uh, I have the Burn On Demand DVD from Warner Archive. So, there's two discs in here. One's a DVD, one's a Blu-ray. So we have the Angus Criterion Collection version, but it's not really a Criterion. It's just somebody made this artwork. It's pretty, it looks pretty cool though. So on this one, you get the actual, um, on the Blu-ray, it's the regular cut of the film. And on the, D on the DVD, it's the rare television cut but it's not in seven. It's on DVD, but it's not the 720p. Uh, it's actually 480. It's the. I don't know if it's. It's. I don't know if it's VHS quality. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it says on the back here. But really cool film. Definitely enjoyed it. Had to up, up, upgrade it in my collection, if you will. So, pretty cool. Uh, it actually does have art on the discs itself, so it's a pretty cool custom art. Uh, release on that and then we have a couple titles here from terror vision um we have one cd too i went ahead and picked this up i know it has a vinyl as well this is the unsolved mysteries soundtrack if you will uh it's got quite a few different tracks on here it's not numbered or anything but it's just like music from the show, including the haunting theme song that everybody remembers back in the day. But there's your track listing right there. Um, finally got my copy of Captives. This was delayed. I don't remember exactly why. I think it had something to do with audio or something. I don't remember, but really cool. It's got the slip on it, different artwork underneath. Um, Terrorvision is actually becoming one of my favorite labels, so looking forward to. I'm I'm seeing all these releases coming out. I'm like, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. But I haven't placed any orders yet. And then this one, you guys saw in a previous video, I got the import version of this. But now they they released this in the, here in the states. So we have uh, some guy who kills people. Really cool, funny, weird horror comedy type movie involving a guy that sells ice cream. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that the spine doesn't show this the the title. The other side does, but it's upside down. So when you put it in on your shelf, it's like this or like this and it's backwards. But other than that, I like the movie. And then lastly, you got eBay here. I got three titles or no, sorry backtrack Macari first um i wanted to check this movie out and i didn't want to pay a whole lot for it it's uh, an alien movie 
Got this uh, Sakino Larber title. It is the UFO incident with James Earl Jones and Estelle Parsons. Pretty weird. I mean, it looks like just guys in suits wearing alien masks, but I don't know. It's from 1975, so we'll see how that is. Uh, eBay. Got two titles here. I got them from Decoder.com through eBay. We have A Stranger is Watching. This is a Scream Factory release. Um, don't know too much about it other than it was directed by Sean, uh, Sean Cunningham. Got some interior artwork there too. <clears throat> it's from 1982, so it was after he did um, Friday the 13th. So we'll check that out. I do have that on DVD though, so it's an upgrade. And then lastly, the only DVD in this stack is going to be, um, I had the first one in my collection and then I sold it. I don't know why I did that, but I don't think it was in the best condition anyway. So I'm going to have to re-find it or wait till they finally come out with the trilogy on Blu-ray. Maybe. So we got Carnosaur 2 here. <laughs> These movies are creeping really over the top. Just, you know, dinosaurs killing people and, and whatnot. It's the first one was cool. I did enjoy that one. This one I have not seen, but it is 83 minutes from 1993. So, so there you go. So that is everything I've gotten in the mail this month. Um, probably gonna get a, maybe another box or two. Maybe I don't know. I haven't really been buying a whole lot online lately. In store is eh, hit or miss, but. I do have, uh, I'm going to show my, like I, like before, I'm going to show all my in-store purchases at the end of the month. I have a smaller stack than this, so it's not a whole lot I've been buying. So here is my stack of what's in the mail for this time around. Let me know in the comments if you've seen anything, anything in here or listened to. And I will get to see you guys probably the next day or two. We'll see. Take care and see you later. Bye.